am Carrie Freeman with Intel Corporation, and I'm responsible for work that, around water in our eco-technology, as well as in our corporate responsibility office. And Intel views water as something that um, is a strategic focus for us. We have been looking at ways to conserve water for um, many, many years. And over the last decade, we have invested over $100 million in water conservation measures. Anytime we do a site selection, we go in and understand what the needs are of our manufacturing processes and um, the local water situation. So it starts in the very beginning at our manufacturing sites. Um, then we look at what are the very strategic long-term goals that we need to um, plan for as well as the short-term goal. How do we reduce our water usage? Um, that's at the source. As well as what are the ways in which we can reuse and recycle in our manufacturing processes as well as in our facilities. So from a scrubber perspective, from a cooling tower perspective, as well as from an irrigation perspective. At each of our sites we look to see what the local needs are and tailor um, those different applications based on the needs of our local region. So for example, um, some of the things that we do in Arizona are different than what we do in, our, in Ireland, as well as in Dalian, China, which is a factory that is just opening up. Um, Israel is different than, say, Oregon. So we make sure that we are focusing on the needs of our local uh, community. So in Arizona, we have worked um, with the local water municipality um, several years ago and designed a system in which we um, treat water and then do an aquifer recharge. And that's something that we do in conjunction with the local municipality. In Israel, one of the things we have done is we have installed a membrane treatment facility that treats our water and then it's turned over to um, the local communities to be used in agricultural irrigation. So those are just two different examples of how we approach um, the same types of manufacturing facilities differently based on the location. So from a company perspective, we think it's absolutely critical that um, you start monitoring and understanding what is happening from your own water usage as well as local conditions um, at all of your manufacturing sites. So this is something that we do. We do this um, ongoing and then on a yearly basis we understand you know, what is the water that we've used at these different sites um, and have any has anything changed in the local conditions. Now from there we may set more aggressive goals um, based on different regions. So some of our more arid um, operations, say for example the ones that are in New Mexico, Arizona, Israel and Dalian may have more aggressive goals and that may tie into different point solutions um, as far as water conservation. Um, high efficiency reverse osmosis is one that was developed in New Mexico because of our needs in New Mexico. Um, and it may also um, incorporate things more on the wastewater treatment side. So we may have different treatment requirements based on our um, working with the local utilities. We definitely recommend that companies look at what their water policy is, um, what are the values that they're placing into their water strategies, and then perform a water footprint analysis. Um, if you haven't already done so, because that is um, that can be a very eye-opening experience and then really start to target more of your attention on maybe your direct operations, maybe your energy generation um, methodology, but that really gives detailed insight uh, into where the most value-added improvements will be.